dissolving gold with hydrogen peroxide. All right, so for this project, all we're gonna need is some hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid, it's all the same thing. We've got 31% and hydrogen peroxide, 12%. And of course, gold. So we're gonna go ahead and start this. We're gonna add some hydrochloric. and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we'll go with a little bit more than that. All right, clear the workstation. You go ahead and throw this bad boy up on the heat. All right, so here we are back. Um, Last night I dehydrated this this solution so that we could uh, bring the content down because that hydrogen peroxide is going to contain a lot of water in there. So I think we're at a point where we can go ahead and put a little bit more hydrogen peroxide in there. And put it back up on the heat. All right. So I went and evaporated everything again. Um, we're getting there. I don't see too much material left that looks like gold. So the stuff floating on top we can see is gold. Um, I may add a little bit more hydrochloric too. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I, not a whole lot of gold, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide. Let's see if we can get the rest of this in the solution. We're getting close, we'll get there. All right, we are to a point where I believe I've got everything that I can get dissolved in here. So let's go ahead and filter this out. Um, I wanna try and put just my crystals in here too. So what I'm gonna do is put some uh, hydrochloric in here, just to spice it up a little bit. We'll filter it out. And then uh, when we're done filtered, We'll just put a spoonful of that in there, see what happens. got some silver cementing in the back there. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go clean out my beaker. That filtered out really nicely. Let's see what this looks like, it's kind of interesting. Works pretty good. We'll do have to do a stannis on it just to verify we got everything out of there.
All right, let's check it out. When we uh, have let everything settle. There we have it. Nice layer on the bottom. And we do have some floaters here, so let's go ahead and spray that down quick. Little test on the scientific straw. This actually looks really cool. You can see as soon as those crystals uh, went into our gold solution, they immediately started putting out some gold. Look at that. Nice little chunk there oh, at yeah. the bottom. We still got gold in there. It's Gotta actually kind of cool in. looking. Got that crystal in there. All right. Some here we gold go. cementing out. We're knocking stuff over here. Along with our beautiful gold solution. Time for some Stannis. All right, perfect. I'd say we got it all. Check what this gold looks like. We still got some crystals in there see there so we'll have to get that out little hydro our uh, hydrochloric will take that out no problem it does look nice and fluffy all right well that's awesome it works hydrogen peroxide it works really well actually what is going on everybody so hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid works really well um it's, it's clearly not as fast as nitric acid, right? But there's a couple of benefits that I can see with it, right? Um, hydro, or hydrogen peroxide is, is fairly easy to come by and much cheaper. So I could see um, that being an advantage. The We don't have the nitrogen dioxide fumes either, which is nice. So that's always a plus. Um, it did take quite a bit more to actually put our golden solution, which kind of is expected, right? If it's not, it's not nearly as, as an, you know, potent as an oxidizer as nitric acid is. So, um, that's to be expected. What else did I like about it? Oh, I liked the fact, um, so Aqua Regis stinks, um, it's not like a potent smell like uh, SMB. You put SMB in and that those fumes like just take your breath away. Uh, that's not good at all. But there's kind of like a smell that you get with AR. Um, it just kind of resonates. And I didn't get any of those fumes or smells, which also was a plus. It's a little more time consuming. So if you're not uh, completely interested in your gold right off the bat, why not? Let it set it, forget it kind of thing. Um, actually, well, I can't say it's a set up and forget it type of thing because it the reaction happens fairly quickly. And um, so you kind of have to stay on top of it. It, it. it Basically, it's very similar to... Um, very similar to the silver contacts that I do. So the with uh, citric acid, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. It's very similar to that where it's very violent and then it's done like that. But, you know, small amounts of gold, perfect. I, I, would, I would use it. And I might actually try and use it with... Uh, I have to see... I'd have to do a couple of test runs, but I'd like to try it with like chips, you know, after trying to extract the gold. I'd give that a shot because I don't do big enough batches where I have to worry about putting tons and tons like this. This might have even been a little overkill for it. Um, I think this was like four grams of gold 
So uh, that that might have been a little much. But I like it. I'll use it again. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.